You can't take three from two. Two is less than three, so you look at the four in the tens place. Now that's really four tens, so you make a three tens, regroup, and you change a ten to ten ones, and you add to the two and get twelve, and you take away three, that's nine. Is that clear? Now instead of four in the tens place, you've got three because you added one, that is to say ten to the two, but you can't take seven from three, so you look in the hundreds place. From the three, you then use one to make ten ones, and you know why four plus minus one plus ten is fourteen minus one, because addition is commutative, right? And so you got thirteen tens, and you take away seven, and that leaves five. Well, six, actually, but the idea is the important thing. Now go back to the hundreds place, you're left with two, and you take away one from two, and that leaves one. Now that actually is not the answer that I had in mind, because the book that I got this problem out of wants you to do it in base eight. But don't panic, base eight is just like base ten, really. If you're missing two fingers. <laughs> Hang on. You can't take three from two, two is less than three, so you look at the four in the eights place. Now that's really four eights, so you make a three eights, regroup, and you change an eight to eight ones, and you add to the two, and you get one two base eight, which is ten base ten, and you take away three, that's seven. Now instead of four in the eights place, you've got three, because you added one, that is to say eight to the two, but you can't take seven from three, so you look at the sixty fours. From the three, you then use one to make eight ones, you add those ones to the three, and you get one three base eight, or in other words, in base ten, you have eleven, and you take away seven, and seven from eleven is four. Now go back to the sixty fours, you're left with two, and you take away one from two, and that leaves. Now let's not always see the same hands.